And now I'd like to discuss something with you that to me is what's relevant for this day. Churches all over the world sing, almost every service, a song about Hosanna. It's a, just a famous colloquialism, everybody's uttering it. Every church sings one or two songs about it, literally once a month or every week, for real. And yet the understanding of it is so far from Christianity that it's, that's a miracle in and of itself. One of the miracles of the Bible, that people can be that blind to their blessing. The word Hosanna has an incredible meaning, but it's the way it evolved that's really miraculous. You see, Hosanna clearly means save, save us now. The word save is where you get the name Jesus from. It's a variation of it. So Hosanna means to save, but something happened along the way. You see, God slowly began to change that word, and he changed it to mean something remarkable. It's not just save me, it's not just save me now, but God did something very peculiar. He added something to the word because people did not understand the word. It was save me, Hosanna, but not only save me and save me now, but it was also send prosperity now. So you see, the salvation of God wasn't just deliverance. Now here's the oddity of it, and I hope we can get this point. Hosanna, the waving of the palms, is a Feast of Tabernacles event. That's one of the last feasts at the end of the Bible, at the end of the season, the season of harvest. That's when the, har the farmer plants something expecting 10,000 bushels, and he goes out to his farm and he gets a golly hallelujah moment where there's a million two bushels. What? I want the 10,000, I'm getting a million two? He's astonished. That's the Feast of Tabernacles. And that's where they wave the palms, glorifying God for the harvest that they have been given. But the strange thing about this in the Bible is that this happened at the Feast of Passover when Jesus Christ was going to be crucified, not at the Feast of Tabernacles. An incredible oddity in the Bible, and you have to ask why. Now, before I go any further, when they had this procession, it was along these lines. Jesus Christ had just saved Lazarus and raised him from the dead. It was an amazing place, and the city where it happened is almost 3,000 feet above Jerusalem, looking down on the valley. A beautiful sight, a long procession to get there. As the people begin celebrating this, God orchestrates, and these are Jewish historians that hate Jesus, stating history, one of the most respected historians known, that literally by the tens of thousands they began to congregate. There were up to three and a half million visitors in Jerusalem for the feast of Passover. And the crowds begin to hear that the Messiah, this is the Messiah, he raised the dead. And all of these visitors that were not aware of the miracles that he had been doing are now aware that someone, the Messiah, has raised the dead. They begin coming from two different directions, descending from that city where Lazarus was raised from the dead, and then coming from where they had gotten the donkeys for Jesus to ride on. So two enormous processions of perhaps a million or a million and a half people meet at Jesus. And for the first time in the Bible, they keep saying, tell us if you're the Messiah. And boy, does he proclaim he's the Messiah by receiving all of the praise and accolades in this gigantic procession of a parade. And they're screaming, cutting down the branches, throwing their coats in the way, shouting, Hosanna. This is the moment that Jesus stops this enormous procession and begins to weep as he's looking down over Jerusalem. And he says these words, the problem with Christianity today, listen to the words he said, if only you had known, if only you understood this moment but you don't. If only you realize what you're saying, but you don't realize. Your lips confessing right, but your heart does not understand as far from me. And they're shouting and screaming in this wonderful parade, strange event, only time in the Bible, peculiar beyond, and he's weeping 
and he says these words because you do not perceive and understand what the very phrase you are saying destruction will come upon your life instead of the meaning of Hosanna now let me explain the meaning of Hosanna as God sees it not as people see it of course he has the Passover Hosanna first time in the Bible it was never done that way in the Bible it was at tabernacles as I said but he's saying the first Hosanna is deliverance if you're in a mess and you're in trouble like Israel was in Egypt captive by something if you're in a mess and you need deliverance you need a deliverer you need someone that's gonna come and free you when you cannot and that is Jesus saying I'm gonna do that wave the palm for me at Passover because I am here to save you from whatever you need saving from when immediately right now if you'll understand the meaning of Hosanna but it certainly doesn't end there remember where Hosanna started where the palm began at the waving of tabernacles the harvest time and what God is saying is if only you would believe if only you would understand if only you would live aligned with what you're saying then I will not only deliver you this moment but I will instantly prosper you this moment what he's saying is there is no waiting time and you don't have to wait for a season to pass I am God you are waving a palm at the creator of the universe do you have any idea what you're doing it's not just a religious ordinance of my goodness you take a palm and you wave it first of all this is part of the tree this is a bit theological and I don't want to get ahead of anybody but just read the book of Haggai and you might understand this a little better that's to someone maybe they need a word but this it's not just some act this is why he said you can have the meaning of Hosanna you can be blessed beyond measure you can be delivered this instant prosperity this moment no waiting period no interlude if you understand but to just cry Hosanna and like every other palm just take this and make it in a cross put it on your refrigerator wave it to God it's meaningless on the contrary God says because you didn't know because you don't understand destruction comes you don't even get the blessing that you are supposed to what he died for how can God say I will die for you to take away your sins and yet nothing in your life changes how can that possibly be he says how it can be because you don't understand because you don't perceive because you don't have eyes to see think of it this way Hosanna a proper understanding a man is either drowning in a pool or he's lost in a forest and in that mountainside forest the night is coming the evening chill a snowstorm is coming there isn't a chance that he'll live and if someone doesn't save him out of that water he will perish he can't swim he cries a faulty cry of Hosanna simply just save me and not realizing it's God who made the mountain it's God who made the water it's God who made me that's my father that's my husband he died for me while I was a sinner and he's gonna let me listen father I just don't want salvation because when my father shows up it's not just to save me and then he discards me my father saves me out of a mess and then he says bye-bye I don't think so the proper understanding is I'm not just crying for a lifeguard and then someone will say well now I see the lifeguard coming I'm saved that's a absolute still improper understanding of Hosanna Hosanna is when dad comes to save you out of that pool and you cry father my Jesus my Jesu save me you end up getting out of that pool you end up being the lifeguard and you end up owning the pool that's a proper understanding I need a raise for my job no what you need is to be the owner of the business that's the proper understanding and 99% of these prayers he says you, you know what deal with it destruction 
because you, you're not honoring me. I'm not a cheap vending machine. I'm not someone you just wave something religiously at. He is the creator of the universe. Try to let that sink in. And that being man loves you madly and gave his baby for you. He expects a better understanding from us all. Give us the nations. Give us the world. Give us Africa, Sweden. Give us Germany, El Salvador, Venezuela, Bolivia, Brazil. Give us Russia and China. Give us everything. And God took notice. Someone understanding the proper and complete aspect of salvation, where you don't have to wait. There is no process with God that requires you to say, well, I have to wait till September. You don't have to wait for anything if you will understand the magnitude of your Jesu. He's amazing. And when you wave that palm and cry Hosanna, do it correctly. Do it with a proper understanding. This is the, the celestial being. There is nothing that's impossible. And when the impediments come, or a speed bun comes along the road, or someone says no, be quick to say, you just don't understand, Hosanna, but I do. So I am crying out to you, Hosanna, my friend. You'll understand in a moment. Please, today, I, I implore you, I really do. Think about what's, I mean, think of what's gonna happen. You're being given what they were given, what they did. They climbed the trees. They saw the Messiah declaring, I am he. He weeping because they couldn't get it while they're saying it. Again, I repeat, that is the state of modern day Christianity worldwide. They sing the song and walk out the same. And tomorrow it's the same headache at the job. Astounding. And he weeps and weeps and weeps and says, if only they had known their day of visitation and who is standing here. They cry Messiah and have no concept of Messiah. They shout and sing Hosanna and know nothing of Hosanna. And because of that, he makes it so clear, because of that, they now will suffer the normal human destruction that comes along with life. But if they would understand and repent and realize that I have combined the holidays, I've taken Passover, I've taken tabernacles, and I've put them all together in one so that when they see the cross and the resurrection, they know my day has come, my now is here, my success is this moment, I don't have to wait one more second, I have what my heart's desire.